For many years humans have fantasized about bringing back dinosaurs from extinction. But for a long time, it appeared that dinosaurs would only ever exist in science fiction. But new researchers have proven that this may not be the case. In this video we will explore how this paleontologist Jack Horner wants to turn back evolution and turn a bird into a dinosaur. If you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. When paleontologist Jack Horner introduced us to the idea of reverse engineering birds back into dinosaurs, he said we should start with chickens. This makes sense because, believe it or not, the chicken is one of the only surviving descendants of the Velociraptor. For those of you who aren't aware, Jack Horner is a dinosaur paleontologist that has helped with the creation of the Jurassic Park movies. His dream is to create a living breathing dinosaur that would fit right in among its dinosaur ancestors 70 million years ago. The original plan for this project was to see if we could retrieve dinosaur characteristics that have been lost in evolution. Loads of recent discoveries are already proving that making a dinosaur is indeed possible. For example, a lab at Yale have shown that introducing a protein concentrated inside tiny leaky beads can convert a bird beak into a dinosaur snout in chicken embryos. This was done by finding atavistic genes and keeping them turned on after they would normally be dormant. In biology, an atavistic gene is a genetic trait that can reappear after being lost through evolutionary change in previous generations. From studying chicken embryos, scientists have found that in the beginning stages of their development they have a wing that closely resembles a dinosaur hand, until a gene comes and fuses the hand together. Jack Horner wants to find dinosaur genes like these that have been turned off during the course of evolution and activate them to create something that may resemble a dinosaur. Scientists from the University of Chile have successfully created chicken embryos with a unique feature, dinosaur legs. Don't imagine chickens stomping around with giant brontosaur legs, the changes are all internal. The change in these chickens is the fibula, one of two bones inside the leg. When chicken embryos form, they have a full fibula but as they grow, the fibula stops growing along with them. Dinosaurs, like humans, had full fibulas to help support their massive weight. It seems that, at some point in their evolution, birds stopped needing the extra bone. By modifying one gene however, the researchers were able to undo the change and grow chickens with dinosaur legs. The beginning stages of teeth have also been identified in a chicken mutant embryo, the talpid chicken. And some birds alive today already have wing claws and head crests, so we only need these traits. There are some problems with this however. A lot of dinosaur genes birds still have. The teeth, arms, hands and snout still have atavistic genes. However, things such as the long tail trait, and enamel in the teeth, are genes that birds actually have lost. I will let Jack Horner explain this best. Well, it, you know, it's, it's simple, you know, like I said, we were, you know, the idea really is to look for atavistic genes. I mean, you know, the, the project really was to see whether we could retrieve uh, dinosaur characteristics that have been lost during the course of evolution. And so, you know, the only genes that that could be retrieved are atavistic genes, ones that have been turned off. And, and there are a number of them. Uh, tooth, the teeth, for example, is one. The shape of the head is, is, is a, a couple of them. Um, the leg, um, some leg, leg bones that are more dinosaur than bird-like are, are examples. The arms and hands are examples, but the tail isn't. We discovered, that's one of the things we discovered was the tail, the long tail, the loss of the long tail is not uh, the result of, an, of a gene that has just been turned off. It's been lost, which means if we are going to make an animal with a long tail, we're actually going to have to do transgenic engineering to get it and that you know sort of defeats the purpose of the project because so because then you're you know you're you're making an indominus rex rather than than you know uh, that rather than retro engineering evolution would you have to use one of the uh close relatives with tails like deuterarchosaurs, like crocodiles or alligators? Yeah, probably. In order to create a bird with all the dinosaur traits, they will have to do it transgenically. This will be a multi-step process. 
To create a bird with a tail, they will have to take the long tail trait from a bird relative like alligators. Then, if they have demonstrated that they could extend the tail length, they will employ CRISPR technology to change the chicken's DNA, so that the dinosaur traits can be passed to the chicken's offspring. Already, just by studying chicken tail biology, they are finding incredible things, one even related to humans. They may have just discovered the long sought after trigger for a disease called ankylosing spondylitis, a devastating and common human back disease where backbones fuse together. They have also found things in birds that were previously thought to be lost in evolution. I'm sure that a lot of you out there would love to see a dinosaur in real life, including myself. Luckily for us there are people out there who are trying to make this dream a reality. Well that was how Jack Horner plans to create a dinosaur. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions leave them in the comments.